so i'm still in my hotel what i'm doing is on my spreadsheet i'm actually calculating um, optimum shift points uh, because obviously i launch in seconds so i just want to make sure my shift points are correct so that i can program my shift lights so i will be shifting uh second gear maybe i can rev all the way to 6500 uh third gear 6.1 5.8 5.8 for fourth and fourth and fifth then i've set my over rev and how i've done that is i've looked at the points at which the torque really starts to go down um uh, so this has been plot on this graph and i've been using the data that we're taking from our our, our dyno so hopefully this works uh that's my morning preparation uh, next thing we're just going to check the car make sure it's ready to race but um this is um the calculations that i just had to do to just uh, make sure that uh, we'll get optimum thrust at the track today little did i know that it was not going to matter so in this race this was actually one of our first few races that we had and we were lining up against um dylan um with the pulsar gtr with an sr20 engine um dylan is the youngest racer you will find at the um, uh at the racetrack and um uh, being a very young racer he's got so much accomplished accomplishments he actually does uh professional racing in south africa so that pausa is piloting is the one that took the cup at last year's grand finale Considering it took me five good seconds to get traction, something is definitely wrong with Dylan's car or he is deliberately letting off. I think we did one final run after this one and uh, after we did that run, the marshals were already kicking us off, kicking us off the track because um, the tires were literally finished. Um, yeah, they were done. Um, so we also called the supplier just to try to understand his point of view, what he thinks about uh, the situation with the tyres. And this is what he had to say. They should have been fine, tyre pressures I think are fine. Uh, that tyre softener, like I said, I don't know if that might have been an issue. Where were the tyres stored? I'm sure you said uh, they were stored in the garage, in a pretty decent area. Not in the sun or any cock areas, so th that's fine. Um, so yeah, it's difficult to distinguish. I think the car is making just too much power for that tyre. Um, if you're saying 600 horsepower, 600 kilowatts or whatever. So it might be a bit too much. Then again, what's the other car doing? Uh, so these are a couple of things that we have to just get all the information as much as we can. And then if we have all the info, then you know I can also look at it that way and I can also put it across America. Maybe they have got all this thing too. But um, the first thing they're gonna say was an unprepped track. Um, so I don't know. So that who's here only did two uh, events for us and it was done. Um, so it was still in the morning, so we decided to just take uh, wheels off of our support car, which was the Alteza, it did the drinks, it did the camera equipment, it did everything. Uh, so we took the tires from that car and then we put on the Brevis. Uh, we lowered the tire pressure um, to something like, I think, 180 or 150. And then we put... Uh, a big tire at the back um, from a bobcat or from a forklift uh, thing was heavy it needed three people to actually put it into the trunk so that's pretty much what we did and uh, in the hopes of ge getting a bit of, uh, of better traction and it seemed to have though we didn't we also didn't have traction but it was better than nothing or not racing at all
So there was two new things which were done at the at the drags this time in Bulawayo. First, we had a row race, uh, which was a very cool addition. Unfortunately, my cameraman never took that. Um, but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun doing that because vehicles which are traction limited like mine um, go, got to actually shine in the road races. So yeah, that was cool. Um, and also this parade where we actually drove uh, to where the crowd was, where you the fans were. I know some of you were texting me to say, look, we, we are here in Bulawayo, we've arrived from Harare and we are here to enjoy with you guys. And uh, that was a cool thing, seeing you guys there and uh, having fun. We hope to see more of that uh, in the future, the pro races. Uh, because there are some cars which will not launch as hard, especially some street cars, but then they will really perform uh, on the road races. So there will be more racers coming and also, uh, you know, engaging with the fans. Engaging with the fans is really a big deal. So yeah, we, we hope to see more of this uh, in the future. I also want to say well done to Tinashe. Um, Tinashe is the one driving the BMW X5. By the way, this one is a diesel. Uh, it is probably supposed to be towing a boat somewhere, but uh, it's here and it's dishing out some serious gap juice. So well done to Tinashe there, and uh, he managed to finish uh, third place, overall third place. So yeah, top three. And I will go as far as to say this is the fastest diesel car in Zimbabwe. Uh, considering this was put together last minute because last night actually last previous day it was actually at our workshop uh, getting tuned this is really impressive
something definitely happened to that skyline you can see it almost like went sideways yeah that was uh, that was a hairy one for sure so it looks like the fastest one this time is the bmw x6m sport uh well done and uh thank you guys for watching Since I was uh, wanted to be more of a burnout machine uh, than going straight, um, we decided to you know tease the crowd and uh, give them a little bit of sideways action. Yeah! 